What's up Gladys and welcome back to Gladiators Tennis and today I decided to do an update on the what's in my bag video because it's been quite some time since the previous one and a lot of things have changed and you guys have been asking me a lot about what I play with, what string I use and all these things so I decided to just make a whole video to cover all of those questions and by the way everything that's included in this video that is tennis related is of course going to be mentioned in the description below together with our exclusive discount code so you can save some cash and help the channel but now let's get started so first thing is first of course the head duffel bag I think it's called it's the biggest one they have it's honestly my favorite bag out there it's just I've been using it for the last three years I think this is the new 2023 version I actually haven't used it I just unpacked it so yeah it's brand new but anyways it's good because it has uh, the massive compartment and inside that massive compartment there's like several other compartments which is not usual for for the tennis bags and I, I really dig it however most of the time I actually use this little head bag that is actually custom made not custom made but it's kind of personalized by head for me uh, the, the GK right here because it's just small useful all of the things that I need on a daily basis I can fit in that so that's that's my sort of everyday bag but this is the bag that I use for for whenever I go to tournaments or when I travel because more stuff can fit in there, obviously. So now let's let's go ahead and start. So as I said, the main compartment that is divided into three other compartments, you can put that down, which I don't know why you would want to do that, but you, you, you know, you have the option to do that. I think I'll cover the rackets in the end, just so you know, you, uh, you have something to stay excited for, but, but by the bag, you can kind of guess what rackets I'm using. Anyways, uh, in this little compartment here, I have the, the rubber bands. I don't usually use this thick of a rubber band. I use a way thinner one. Uh, I don't have it here, I forgot it in the gym. But yeah, just, just for the showing purposes, I have that in here. Barely use this one, it's too thick. I don't even know what you use that for. I have this little ball that I use to massage any of the muscles that, I, that are sore after a practice or something. It's a very useful thing if you like step on it and do like this. Best thing, oh, oh. Next up, uh, clothes wise, of course, I usually have at least one Gladiator tennis shirt, of course. Guys, we're not selling these yet. We're working on it. They're definitely gonna be on sale at some point. I will, of course, let you guys know when, whenever they are. But for now, they're not on sale yet. Next up, I use a cap because, not because of the sun, but because of my hair. It's kind of hard to play with this hair. So I usually, you know, use this cap. By the way, this was a gift from Nikita. Uh, I value this. Uh, I value this cap a lot, even though I don't even know what brand this is. But but still, it's a valuable uh, item in my in my tennis bag. All right. Next up is uh, in this compartment as well. I have just some extra extra clothes for whenever I'm done training for the second practice or just just to change into new sports clothes. You know, fresh, whatever. Blah blah blah. And uh, as well, I have some casual clothes in case I need to go somewhere else but the tennis courts after practice. Next up, we have the shoes. And actually, in my previous What's In My Bag video, I didn't really have any, you know, preferred shoe. But now, oh my god, the Lacoste AGLT23, as well as also the previous version. Oh my god, these shoes, guys, they're kind of a little bit used already, you know, because I play in them. But they're so durable, comfortable, uh, slightly maybe a little bit too heavy for some, but absolutely perfect for me. And uh, yeah, even though they do have a hole, usually, the hole appears before I end up, you know, using up the sole. But in this case, it's almost, you know, done. And this hole is still not fully through the sock. So I absolutely love this shoe. This is, uh, I use these for card court and then, and then the same exact shoe, but in sexy orange color for clay. Also a little bit, a little bit dusty because of course I use this shoe. By the way, I keep these shoes in this compartment uh, and not in the actual shoe compartment because I have two pairs and I use this, uh, the side compartment mainly for for the dirty sweaty nasty clothes all right next up uh i mean i have the towel of course head branded but i don't always use this towel it's just this is the clean one for today then of course tennis balls uh these are just for demonstration purposes they're actually completely uh dead <laughs> even though they're new we like to play with the dunlop fort this is actually our favorite tennis ball because it's just good and it's also very durable unlike some other balls but okay and then of course I have sunscreen not of course but you know for the summer days I uh, don't want to get burnt even though I already have the timelines but you know just just stay safe use sunscreen okay next we have shaker 
uh, with uh, whatever I put in this. Usually it's some protein powder, you know, don't always drink protein. But sometimes when I have some rough fitness sessions with a lot of, you know, strength exercises, I, I tend to sometimes drink some protein. Here we also have a toiletries bag. In there I just have all my, all my stuff for, for smelling good and being, and being clean. Uh, it's actually, it's actually the head toiletries bag and I don't think it's, it's available for, like I don't think you can buy this. I'm not sure, I'll, I'll double check it. If you can buy it, I'll leave it in the description, but I'm not sure, it might be just like a marketing program. But yeah, in there I have my perfume, my deodorants, my toothpaste, brush, whatever, you know, whatever goes in, into a toiletries bag. Next up, because I'm not only a tennis player, but I'm also a content creator and uh, I'm not afraid to use this word influencer, um, I have to have some tech with me. Um, well, actually, no, this is something that most of the tennis players have, some headphones. Uh, obviously noise cancelling, Sony, love these, they're great for traveling. Don't always use these, I actually have my, where are they? I think I have them in here. Yeah, I just for every day for training and for fitness, for example, I use the Power Beats, but for traveling and stuff, I use the, the Sony's because they're noise cancelling. All right, what else? Uh, this is the tripod that is used for all of the highlight filming on all of the tournaments and just everything in general. Absolutely love it, best thing ever. Gorilla Pod, kind of expensive, but you know, worth it. Next, I have this cool GoPro uh, box with all the microphones. Actually, currently there's a drone in here. SSDs, things like that. Not, you know, nothing too crazy. Just the typical content creation stuff, I guess. Uh, and also my laptop, I use the MacBook Pro 14 inch with the M1 Pro processor for those who care about that. But yeah, I actually think that that's most of it. I obviously have the chargers whenever, whenever, whenever in this compartment usually. But yeah, charger for my phone and my laptop that all co go in this one little adapter, which is super, Super useful, also very overpriced and expensive, but kind of worth it. So yeah, not gonna complain. And for the most part, this is it. Of course, of course, I am forgetting the rackets, but I'm not forgetting. As I said, I left them for the end. I use the brand new Head Gravity Pro with a leather grip and it's actually customized. It weighs about 330 grams, give or take a couple of grams. I'm not sure actually, gotta ask my stringer. But yeah, leather grip, I just like the feel of a leather grip. Even though I do put an overgrip on top, it just feels a little better. Plus it adds extra weights for the balancing. And then many of you actually asked me about my dampener. This is a, a Luxalon dampener, absolutely love it. Lasts uh, your entire life, it doesn't break. It just, I mean, unless you lose it, this is gonna last you your entire life. But the feel is great of the dampener and uh, I am in love. And I am actually forgetting my string. I completely forgot about that. But I use the Technifiber Razor Soft 125. I've mentioned this string in my previous videos. I just switched from uh, Luxalon Adrenaline 130. I used the 125 of the, of the Razor Soft and it is absolutely wonderful. I love the feel, I love the control, I love the extra spin that it gives me uh, because I have a kind of like a not really spin friendly racket. It helps me with that spin and uh, the, doesn't really compromise that much on the power. So I really dig the string. I totally recommend you try it. Link in the description, of course. But yeah, at least give it just like one try. See if you like it, if you don't, whatever. I've heard there's uh, problems with it not lasting too much and breaking very soon. But because I'm, I play pretty flat and strings usually last a long time for me, 125 does just fine for me. But yeah, if you break a lot of strings, then maybe use 130. And yeah, I usually have four of these rackets. Currently, the other two are getting balanced because, you know, I just got them and I'm, you know, tweaking them a little bit. Uh, but yeah, apart from my actual main racket, I usually have some kind of test racket for now. Right now, it's the, the new uh, Babolat Pure Iro. Expect a review coming out pretty soon with Nikita, actually. He's sitting right over there. But yeah. Uh, and I think this, this should be it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope it gave you enough insights and details on the gear that I use. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.